And I now give the floor to Her Excellency Maria Elena Boschi, Under Secretary of State to the Presidency of the Council of Ministers of Italy. Mr. President, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to take the floor on behalf of Italy in this August Assembly, the House where we continuously write about the rights of men and women throughout the world. Italy is on the side of women, on the side of the human rights of women. Economic empowerment for women is a prerequisite for guaranteeing autonomy, independence to women, but also for giving them instruments to fight any form of discrimination and violence. For this, I'd like to reiterate Italy's commitment uh, in the economy to sustain the objectives of the 2030 uh, Agenda for Sustainable Development. I'm also pleased to announce in this assembly uh, that Italy, during its uh, presidency of the G7 that we will be hosting uh, in Taormina in May, that it plans to place uh, at the center of debate the empowerment of women, uh, their economic empowerment, but also their access to decision-making roles within political and economic environments, uh, this at the G7 uh, against um, fighting violence against women. G7 is always on the side of girls and women, especially in fighting FGM and early enforced marriages, as you can see in our constant efforts within the UN. Italy is on the side of women, uh, victims of trafficking, as we can see in the funds that our government annually gives to uh, anti-slavery centuries and the uh, specific uh, programs that we have for women that are often victims of abuse and subdued to slavery, uh, if not helped to enter into the uh, job market. Italy is on the side of girls in every part of the world that fight to have equal access to education and training. Italy is on the side of women who ask for equal rights in the workplace and an equal play for equal work uh, aside uh, with men. That is why our country has been committed in recent years to fight the uncivilized uh, practice of uh, white resignations. We have tried to reconcile uh, a life work balance, guaranteeing possibilities to uh, offer part-time instead of full maternity leave, uh, introducing parental paternity leave, uh, measures that support those who have to use child daycare centers uh, regardless of the family income. Italy's on the side of women victims of violence through uh, a national plan against violence against women, through uh, resources allocated to fund uh, centers centers and shelters uh, against violence through projects, uh, educational programs uh, launched throughout schools so that children learn uh, at a very young age all forms of discrimination and violence. We have introduced recently a law that guarantees uh, a full pay leave of women, working women that are victims of violence. We know that the global challenges that we have before us from climate change to migration flows and sustainable development require to be overcome uh, to not uh, give up on the other half of uh, the intelligence of this world, seeing women as protagonists in this world, knowing that every conquest in terms of uh, human rights for women are not conquest for women, but for the entire society, for everyone, for a more democratic development that enriches everyone. That is why we uh, firmly believe that the fight for women's rights is a fight for men and women around the world. Thank you. Ringrazio la ministra Maria Elena Boschi per il suo contributo al nostro dibattito. I thank minister. And I next